So you have an upcoming job interview, but it's going to be a video call. How prepared are you for it? Well, today I'm going to give you 10 tips on what you can do to ace that interview. Hello, I'm Michael Robinson, former president and CEO of New York Staffing Services, a financial company I started about 25 years ago on Wall Street that catered to the financial sector and other businesses. So I know what hiring managers are looking for and I know what triggers their interest. So I'm going to give you that information on my series called Think Like an Entrepreneur, Succeed in Your Career. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on Facebook, Michael S. Robinson, CEO. Give me a thumbs up if you like what we're saying and certainly comments and questions are always welcome. These are difficult economic times, let's face it, in the era of COVID-19 and social distancing. Most companies are not thinking of bringing you in for a job interview. In fact, the modus operandi is a telephone call or a video conference. A video conference call is a lot more interesting because they get to see you firsthand. They have an opportunity to see you face to face without actually meeting you in person. So whether it's via Skype or Zoom or some other customizable platform that they're using, chances are your next interview will be via a video call. So how prepared are you for it? Well, the bottom line is that you've got to think of this interview exactly the same way you think of a formal interview where you go and meet someone face to face. You've got to prepare for it. I'm going to give you 10 tips on what you can do to make sure you are prepared and you ace that interview. The first thing I tell you is arm yourself with the details. Make sure you have the date and time of the call. Make sure you know the name of the person or persons with whom you will be speaking. Know their titles. Sometimes initially you are speaking with uh, someone from human resources like uh, a generalist or a recruiter or even the human resources manager. Make sure you know who that person is. Uh, if you're speaking with the line manager directly, then that is a person who ultimately makes the decision about whether you get the job or not. Regardless, you want to put your best foot forward at all times. The second thing is that you need to know your facts. And what I mean by that is know your resume, like the back of your hand. Too often people come into jobs uh, looking for the opportunity of getting hired and they're reciting their resume like a poem. And I've seen it so many times before. It is absolutely boring. What hiring managers want to know is not just what you've done on your job before, but how you can apply those skills and techniques to their open position. So you want to sell yourself from that perspective. So speak of your, your past work in a chronological order, concise manner, and speak of what you've done before and apply it to what you can do for them. It's a lot more engaging and a lot more interesting and it becomes more of a conversation versus reciting a poem, right? Three, do your research. Research the company, know who they are, know what they're selling, know what products or services they're selling, know what their mission statement is, and know who the customer base might be. It's a good way of integrating that knowledge into how you present yourself during the job interview. So being able to talk about what you've done before and weaving a fabric of conversation based on what the company is about and what you know you can do for them gives you a leg up and makes you sound a lot more engaged, interesting and interested. Number four, the connection. Now I'm not talking about the physical connection yet because that is obviously the most important thing, but the technological connection. Make sure you have the link to the web access. Make sure you know the password 
instructions for connecting to them because every different uh, platform has a different sort of uh, protocol and make sure your browser is updated whether it's Chrome or Safari make sure that's all updated with uh, the latest software and uh, know who you're going to be talking with and know if he or she will be calling you or you are expected to call them because the last thing you need to do is to be miscommunicating. It makes you look bad, not them, but you. So your responsibility is to make sure you have all the connecting information that allows you to access that call that day at that time. And I'm saying this because I've seen so many mishaps happen before in the past and it just does not reflect very good on the person who is going in for that job. So be prepared. Number five, the job in question. Know what job you're applying for. Believe it or not, a lot of folks get confused. You might be applying for a hundred different jobs and you have this one interview and you're confusing this job with another job you saw on LinkedIn or maybe some other job you have in mind that is so make sure you know the job specs of this particular job and speak to it because that's what the hiring manager wants to hear is that you know what they're looking for you know what their needs are and you can sell yourself based on that right number six set the stage you're an actor Prepare a clean, clear room, free of clutter, free of noise, free of confusion. Make sure the lighting is good, you're well lit, and you're not in a dark hole with shadows falling all over you. You know, you've seen that before many times. And the audio quality of your production is good. Make sure you're using a PC or a laptop, not your cell phone. Your cell phone has a Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi has unstable connections. You can be seen as breaking up or the audio crackling. It's not very flattering. So a PC or a laptop is best. Uh, the video quality is great. The audio quality is fantastic. And it allows you to put your best foot forward. And that's what you want to do, right? Put your best foot forward at all times. And number seven, dress the part. I know you're at home, I know you're wearing your comfortable pajamas, or you may have a comfortable polo shirt. Fantastic, I'm happy for you. But interviewers don't care about that. They want to know that you put the effort in to sitting there looking like you're interested in the job, looking like you're responsible, and looking like you're capable. So dressing for success matters in this case. Number eight, eye contact. Well, we all talk about eye contact, how important that is. On a video call, it's a little different from meeting somebody in person because you're not sitting in front of the person physically, but the person is on a screen. And it's very tempting to gaze at the screen, you know, and talk to the person. But guess what? The person is seeing your eyeball looking at a screen or looking around the room. You don't want to do that. You want to look directly into the camera of your PC or your laptop because that way they're seeing eye contact versus if you were distracting looking at a screen. Of course, the screen has the, you know, the image of the individual that you're talking to, but they're not seeing your eyes. So the camera sees your eyes, it captures your eyes, and it conveys that to the person interviewing you on the other end. And also make sure you're not looking around the room, you're not distracted by a dog or your cat that might be jumping in your lap or your cell phone is on, turn that off. Make sure that everything is prepared and you're fully focused on that interview, you're looking into the camera, Great eye contact, great posture, don't slump into the, into the chair, right? Make sure you're sitting up, make sure you're relaxed. Uh, proper introduction is number nine, right? Because it's on camera doesn't mean that you should have a little bit less formal introduction. Introduce yourself fully and engage in a nice light banter of how are you? It's always good to sound friendly, right? 
and uh, approachable. So bring that personality uh, to the forefront of your interviewing practice, even on video. Number 10, take a deep breath, relax, and breathe. Breathe, it's important. You don't wanna come across as being flustered or anxious or uncertain, right? The more you breathe, the more relaxed you become. Let your personality come through and sell your skill sets and be friendly. Uh, could be funny if it's part of your personality, but remember you're not Lucille Ball, so you're not there to entertain anyone or make anyone laugh. You're certainly there to bring your personality front and center, but certainly within reason. Make sense? Any questions you have, please feel free to write to me. It's mr at micasrobinson.com, which is my web website. And uh, next show, I am going to be talking about challenging questions, how to answer them. What do they mean and how to answer them? We'll talk about that. We'll give you tips and uh, information in that genre and lots more to come. So until then, I'm Michael Robinson. Remember, Think like an entrepreneur, you'll succeed in your career.